Hello everyone, so this is part three of my fragrance uh, wardrobe series. These are the, the perfumes that I own. I am a perfumaholic. There's part one that explains my categorization and gives you the over, overview, overall snapshot of what, what sort of categories I go for and what sort of categories we're going to be talking about. So I would advise you to probably try and watch these in sequence because I put them in the sequence that would make sense for me. In the last video, we did cover powdery scents, which are generally day wear scents for me, but I have so many of them that I created a separate category for those. And today we will be tackling cold weather favorites. So daytime scents that I normally would wear in cold weather and specifically because they open up and bloom in cold weather a little bit better. And I've noticed that the temperature really makes a difference for them. This is a tiny category, so it's not going to take us a while. Uh, it has four scents in it, so only four, which I would consider my winter daytime wear scents. Let's start with the, this guy in the back. As you can see, I come prepared with blotters. This is a repurchased fragrance for me. I've been loving it for years. This is not in any way new to the market. There's not a lot over here that is new to the market right now. It takes me a lot of time to warm up to scents uh, most of the time. And this is Cinema by Yves Saint Laurent. Here we have, why do I think that this is best um, worn in cold weather? It is not a heavy scent, uh, which sometimes people associate with cold weather. Uh, this is a, a rather lightweight, slightly sweet, um, wearable, likable, easy to pull off scent that I think would make a very easy and safe blind buy. I will also categorize uh, fragrances that I would consider easy blind buys separately. But Cinema is definitely one of those. It is super versatile, super wearer friendly, but I do find that it leans a little too sweet in the summer. It's just the sweetness is quite emphasized by the weather. So I do prefer to wear it in the fall and winter, especially in the winter. And somehow in snow, for some reason, for me, it opens very, very nicely. Next, we have this little guy, which is Bottega Veneta Illusion. I have a 15 mil here. This guy has been in my possession for a little while, probably around uh, maybe a little bit more than a year. This was not a well thought out purchase. I kind of was uh, on a vacation. I came up to a fragrance counter. I smelled stuff I liked. I smelled a few things and I picked this one uh, to, to bring back with me. Now here's what I've discovered about this scent because my initial impression of it, I think was not fair mostly because of the way that this is marketed. Um, I will take some of the blame because I didn't uh, test it out in different uh, weather conditions. And here's why. I bought this in the summer and because it's a figgy, fruity smell, I automatically assumed that that was going to be a summer fragrance for me. And it does not open up that well <laughs> on me um, in the summer. For me, this is definitely not a summer scent and I reviewed it in the summer. So after the initial purchase, so I was quite disappointed to begin with. I mean, it's a nice scent, I thought, but nothing special. Right now, having worn it through every season and every possible weather, uh, I do have to say that this was a grower. It did grow on me, not to the point where I would be repurchasing, not, not that much of a grower, but it did change my mind about itself. And for me, these days, this is definitely a cold weather fragrance. It plays up uh, more fruity, colorful, bright, and happy notes, uh, and smells much more like fig in colder weather for me than it does in warmer weather. So in warmer weather, it was a meh, and in colder weather, it really was quite a nice little pick. I will be using it up. As you can see, I don't have a lot left, but I don't think it'll be something that I will run out and buy again, although I did enjoy it while I had it. Next little guy, big guy, is this Narciso, uh, a de parfum from this Narciso Rodriguez. This is a very, very good representation of what Narciso Rodriguez can offer in terms of their beautiful floral musks, which is what they do best, really. That's what they're famous for. That's why I buy them. Uh, and I own almost every single cube there is, apart from Poudre, uh, 
um, because I have thought to myself in the past that it was a little too sweet for me. And now that I have much more of a sweet tooth for the last, and now that I have much more of a sweet tooth that kind of popped up out of nowhere, I think I might give it another go and see how it fits in with the rest of them. So here we have a very architectural but milky, so a soft yet angular fragrance, beautiful musk. This is for me a musk with a floral, conceptual floral frame. It, it is so creamy and cozy for me that it definitely lends itself, again, for me, for wintertime use. Now, what I have to wear this with is gem furs, so uh, sort of chunky or fluffy, warm sweaters, cashmere, so it's very well in cashmere. Uh, so, and it has really, really good lasting power. So it's one of the powerhouses. I've used up about half a bottle at this point. And this is definitely something that is at this point a staple in my, um, in my little wardrobe, in my little pile of fragrances. Really like it. Um, I, would, I would say if you are a fan of the musk, I would say not so much for the faint of heart, but very, very beautiful, soft and soft and uh, fairly easy to wear for the statement that it does make. The last one of the winter time uh, picks is going to be the Aqua Allegoria Flora Nymphaea. This is a Galon fragrance. It's one of the lighter weight eau de toilette scents. They have the whole line of these little guys. I have two of them right now, but I've tried lots and lots of them and they are quite hit and miss for me lots of the aqua allegoria lineup just seems really unexciting it's a lot of that is solid floor or very simple combinations which i don't mind at all because sometimes it creates magic the simpler the better um, but sometimes they're just underwhelming for me especially pretty well everything containing rose from aqua allegoria has been a dud for me this has been a big hit um this is Aqua Allegoria Flora Nymphaea. Interesting, lovely, warm floral, honeyed floral. That is really one of my favorite um, wintertime florals because florals for me are much more of a spring category. And this particular one, although it is a floral scent, it has landed itself in this lineup instead of in the florals, which I have over there. My favorite part of the scent is the powdery honey-like quality of it. And really here, we're also talking about beeswax, quite a natural smelling beeswax. Uh, and in my mind, it's winter time, all the bees are hibernating and the beehive is really quiet because not much is happening and against this cold stands out the beeswax, honey, pollen-like uh, qualities. This is the scent that evokes this kind of a sensation for me, and I think it's extremely cozy. I have purchased this once before. This is my second bottle. It's very difficult to find these days. I'm not sure if one can find this, but I do have a backup bottle, so this is not going anywhere for a while, and I will just have to find something similar in the future. I'm sure scents like that exist. Uh, but this was a really, really nice pick for me. So these were my, so these were my wintertime picks for day wear. Basically fragrances that open up the best in the cold weather. It's a fairly small category for me because it's a very specific, weather specific, um, specific to an occasion and specific to how the fragrances are opening up. But I thought that there was enough there to talk about each one of them in a little bit of a eh, tiny amount of detail. Very succinct. And each of those guys is like a world of its own. We can dive into it more uh, with more specifics later. Let me know, do you have certain scents that you feel open up the best in the cold environment during winter? Uh, or snowy fragrances that make you feel cozy and warm inside and, and uh, like winter is not terrible? <laughs> Let me know if you have those kinds of scents and what those are for you. Also, I'd like to hear whether you tried any of the ones that I'm talking about and what you thought of them as well. Do you have similar feelings towards these 
fragrances or um, do you have something different to say about them? I'm always curious. That's it for today. See you guys later. Have a good day. Stay safe um, and take care of each other. Bye-bye.